Ito we believes in restructuring, we share the same cause. Ayo Adebanjo reviews. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, PTOB, met with Pa Ayo Adebanjo, the leader of the Pan Yoruba Social Political Group, Affair Nifere, alongside members of the Southern and Middle Belt Leadership Forum on Tuesday. The meeting came about six weeks after P2B's presidential candidacy was endorsed by the other statesman. Speaking about the meeting during an interview on Wednesday, Pa Ayo Adibanjo said P2B believes in restructuring just like himself. He said he will not back any candidate who does not believe in restructuring. According to him, the fight P2B is fighting is a fight for the oppressed. He said restructuring should be the main point of focus. According to him, there should be a country first before any development plan. Pa Ayo Adebanjo said constitutional review, devolution of power, community policing, and others are all parts of the restructuring process. According to him, there is nothing new about restructuring. We are only saying everyone should go back to where we started before the military came. Uh, yes, if you have been following Pa Ayo Adibanjo of the Afeni Fera Group, you will notice that he is a strong preacher of not just equity, fairness and justice, but he also preaches restructuring. In fact, he comes out every now and then. He's one of the, should I call him an elder statesman at this point, that comes out and gives his two cents no matter the issue. He speaks truth to power. If you like, call him, call him names. Uh, he will still be standing where he's standing. And one thing, the thing about this particular elder statesman is that he has been written for the southeastern region from a very long time. He did not start it. He did not start now. In fact, he started before this pre-election. He started long before this um, election period. You know, we went into the election season. He has been all about. You know, the South West has had their turn. The North, oh, they are, they are the ones really in the South that have had their turn. That you know they should give it to the southeastern region people so that at least in the spirit of equity fairness and justice in the way to you know even make nigeria united again he has been all about us so this is not actually true the betterment of a country you always stands for will pay you and your posterity amen no amen he's one of the few individuals that come out and speak truth to power and it's not ready to give his voice or lend his voice to the oppressed all right, God, we give you good health and long life, sir, to witness your good heart desire for a great nation. With all respect, you are the kind of people that is wishing Nigeria well. Okay. Baba Pito B is deceiving you. Pito B is a correct Igbo man in advance. In advance fee fraud. He will replace restructuring with secessionists. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Shetima said restructuring my feet, so the All Progressive Congress cannot restructure. The promise so, but fail to do so because it is off the agenda. Well, uh, coming out to say things about the All Progressives now, me, it just to me it means talking about the past. The All Progressive regime in power is is less than is less than six months. Yes, it's less than six months now, right? It's less than just six months. You can say six, approximately six months. But at the end of the day, we are supposed to, you know, be looking at who is coming, what they're bringing to the table, and how they're willing to make Nigeria a better country. All right. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in, you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.